I'm going to make a concerted effort to not bore you too much. I'm going to tell you just a little bit about the immune system because I think it's so fantastic and I think it'll make you feel better about the virus and all kinds of other things that are a threat to us. So we have a non-specific immune system. I don't want to talk about that right now. I want to talk about the immune system that attacks particular things like the coronavirus or bacteria or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it is a miraculous thing because you can't possibly have a catalog of every living thing you'll encounter mm -hmm. and then be able to pull out the file and make something that attacks that specific organism. There are too many different bacterias and viruses. There are literally millions and millions of each kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So what the immune system does, am I going on too long no, yet? Because you're giving me the, you're going no, on keep, too long. keep at it. So what happens is when, when a foreign virus or bacteria gets into our body, mm -hmm. one of the circulating white blood cells sees it, it attacks that foreign body, that, that virus or whatever, mm -hmm. it takes part of it back to the lymph node and says, look what I found, basically. Okay. Like it pulls the antenna off the car or whatever. It takes it back and it says, look what I found. The, the lymph node cells take a look at it and say, this does not look good. And they make specific antibodies to attack that thing, to latch. She's looking at me like I'm crazy again. No, no, I have, keep going. I'm, I have an idea, they make, this is great. They make and makes a specific antibody that it can be released into the bloodstream that will specifically attack that particular thing. Hmm. Not only that, but even years later, if you mm -hmm. are, if you encounter that again, let's say you, you, that bacteria or something very similar enters your body again and your white blood cell picks up a piece of it, brings it back to the lymph node. The lymph node will say, oh, I've seen this before. And it can gear up production of that antibody right it's away. Antibody, so antibody <laughs> is an antibody. I understand that, but you it's like you're putting the wrong syllable. Well, I'm saying it to, to syllable. <laughs> Because I want people to understand okay. an antibody so, is not anything okay. so you're more trying complicated to be very clear. than an antibody. It's an anti okay. thing. Okay, so you're saying that. it that way to be clear. But in normal, general, yeah. do you say You anti just say antibody. Okay. I'll and the other clarify. word for that is immunoglobulin. Immunoglobulin, which is a fancy word for that, or Ig. So when your antibodies are tested or your immunoglobulins, that antibody test, is it says IgM or IgG that they're all the same thing. It's just these chemicals that your lymph nodes have made specifically to attack that particular organism. And that's the whole nature of vaccination is to give our immune system a preview of what it's going to see so that it can hurry up and gear up for that foreign organism if it sees it again. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing that for a long, long time. Do you know who was the, one of the first people at least to do that in a scientific way? Was an Englishman, Name, Englishman uh, named, uh, give me the starts with a J. Darwin, no. No, not J. Darwin. And people were like, farmers would do this with cowpox. Uh, cows would get a form of smallpox uh -huh. and farmers would create a wound in their children to immunize their children against smallpox. What year is this? Well, smallpox. This went on for a long time, but that was a form of vaccination. But Jenner immunized people against different Jenner disease. Jenner was the first name? I think, no, uh, I think Edward Jenner. Jenner's the last name. Jenner's the last like name. Like Kylie Jenner. Yeah, uh, uh, it was Jenner. probably his sister. Yeah. <laughs> The immune system, really a fantastic thing and worth taking a look at. I think the more you learn about your immune system, the more you will feel very comfortable in going out in the world and being exposed to things. It's a good thing to be exposed to things. It helps protect you from infections later on. Beautiful.